Are you tired of working your nine to five? Or maybe your business isn't getting to the point where you wanna be, but you're just so craving having financial freedom? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is how to easily become financially free while having fun. So let's jump in because let's be honest, creating financial freedom, well, it's a mindset. A lot of people think that it's so hard to achieve, yet they miss the simple strategies and the psychology. And so I wanna be able to share both with you today. I'm gonna to spend more of a high level overview instead of diving into the details in future videos, we'll dive more into the details. But before we jump in, I just wanna say big shout out to JC, who's been kind of going back and forth as asking questions about uh, from our last video about buying a home and whether you should or not, depending on the proposals. And anyway, just really wanted to say thanks for chiming in, commenting, Jay. Appreciate you, man. So let's jump in. So the first thing is you have to have a budget. If you don't have a budget, then you're not gonna be able to create financial freedom or at least know. Clarity is power. So you have to know what are your monthly expenses. The biggest thing for a lot of people is we have all these extra things, a Netflix account, a Hulu account, a Spotify account, a Pandora account, and it's just like all these little things start to add up. So what I would invite you to do is first get clear on your monthly budget. How much are you spending? And even the miscellaneous, I always like to look at the miscellaneous, right? Maybe you need to buy a vacuum, or maybe it's your child's birthday, or maybe it's your friend's birthday. In fact, today, the day I'm recording this, is my wife's birthday. So after this, we're going out, I'm going to spoil my queen all day. It's her birthday parade, so we got so much to do and a little bit of time. And so anyway, honoring my girl. But you got to know what those expenses are. Once you're clear, let's just say your monthly budget is $5,000. Where can you minimize things? If you really want financial freedom, where are you paying for things that you don't necessarily need? Spotify, Pandora for no commercials. I know it's convenient, but it's not going to help you get free. So you might be able to start trimming some things. Instead of paying $200 for cable, maybe you get you shut it off and you get YouTube TV for, what is it, like 65 bucks, right? Whatever that might be, start looking where you could cut back. Now, here's the thing. I'm in the, I'm all about abundance mindset and not scarcity, not <clears throat> living minimalistic. But if you want to get your baseline of financial freedom, you have to get your bills to a point where if I had if I had the money coming in, I could live and not have to worry about my bills. The other stuff is all extra and ads or additives, right? So we want to make sure that you're actually getting the bottom line number. So first thing, get your budget minimize your budget to just the necessities, really where you're at, gas, food, insurance, all that good stuff. All right, so from there, you have to, if you wanna create financial freedom, you have to find out what do you enjoy doing? What do you really enjoy doing? This is where it becomes fun, this is where it becomes easy. With a caveat, you have to have a financial vehicle that can help you create the income you need to create that freedom. And I'm gonna give you a couple examples here in a moment, but you gotta be able to enjoy what you do. I love helping serve people. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, if I had to do 20 co coaching calls in a day, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. So you gotta find that harmony between, you know, what do you enjoy that really lights you up that you would do for free because I find myself coaching people for free, um, even though like friends or family that are really close, right? And then even on this YouTube channel, <clears throat> but also pay well, that doesn't have a cap to your income. So many people, they trap themselves on what their income cap is. So how do we do this? Well. Before we jump into how we go into that, I wanna to talk to you about why it's important to enjoy what you're doing. Because if you don't, you're gonna have resistance. So what is resistance? Resistance is baggage or limitations. It stops you from actually creating or attracting what you want, right? We're all a frequency, energy, vibration. If you don't believe that, go look at science. We are, right? Everything proves that we are all just energy. And if so certain emotions bring certain energy. We can measure the frequency. I think it's um, Dr. Hawkins' book. I forget what it's called. But he talks about how they measure the frequency of emotions in the book. And so, you know, obviously loves a higher vibration than anger. And so we want to make sure that we have... A certain, that we're living in certain emotions that support what we want to create. Because let me ask you this, if every day you went to work and you were pissed off, you were angry, you hated it, 
do you think that you're going to attract something great into your life? If, you're, if your partner was always angry and, and bitched at you all the time, you know, would you want to do loving things for her? Would you want to bring her more love and joy? More than likely not, right? And so since the universe or God, whatever you want to call it, is actually all energy, right? You want to be in a higher vibration. The more you're in a higher vibration, the more you can attract to you. So if you're sitting there every day, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job, I don't want to be here. Well, why would anyone ever bless you? Why would you ever get blessed with anything more? So we want to live in a frequency, a vibration, an energy that attracts. So I would include, if you're going to be able to become financially free and enjoy it, you got to start finding out what could you appreciate about your job? What can you be grateful for about your job? Maybe it's paying your bills or maybe your business that it has positive cash flow, that you're profiting from it. You're able to put food on the table. What can you appreciate and enjoy about where you are? Because if you can appreciate where you are, you'll be able to attract more into what you want into your present moment and your future will be more abundant. If you're not grateful, if you're not appreciative, then that's like your partner not being appreciative. Why would they? Why would you ever want to bless them above and beyond? It just doesn't make sense. So if you're gonna have fun, you gotta start figuring out how can you appreciate and enjoy where you are because the future is gonna be more abundant. So anyway, I just wanted to touch on that because as you embark on your vehicle that you enjoy, you have to become a master at it. The more you master it, the more you're going to enjoy it, you're gonna attract more into your life, more abundance, but the more people, more value you're gonna to add to people, and that's what we're ultimately after. If you're gonna become financially free, you gotta be able to add massive value to a lot of people or solve a big problem, right? So how do we do this? Well, we do this in a couple of ways to create passive income. So the first thing is you want to create a portfolio. We hear people talk about it. You've got to invest, 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 invest. I highly encourage you to pick a monthly percentage of your income, <clears throat> whether it's from your business or your job, and actually invest it. Start with 1% or 2%. And then as you start getting more and more comfortable, start putting more money away into a portfolio. Now, I won't tell you exactly where to put it. We'll talk about that maybe in future videos, but I would encourage you to start, once you have that percentage, is start to look at what's your risk to growth or your risk to security tolerance, right? Like where you know a portion of your income is secure, it's like not gonna be a high risk, like a startup versus, you know, a uh, high risk could be crypto, Bitcoin, right? All that good stuff. So, but you wanna create a portfolio and be able to put money into it each month so that it can grow. And based on the money that you put into that portfolio, how much is gonna be security? Like maybe 70% is gonna be, you know, well, that's a high number depending on your age, but maybe you're in the 30s or 40s that you're able to sit there and say, hey, I wanna be able to do, you know, I don't know, 60%, 65% risk and 35% security, like bonds and land banking and real estate, stuff like that. And then the risk could be, you know, index funds, high risk index funds, um, independent stocks, uh, let's say cryptocurrency, right? So anyway, we wanna get into the habit of creating a portfolio because the more the portfolio grows, the easier it is for you to create passive income. So for example, let's just say all your bills come out to $4,000 a month, right? That's $48,000 a year. And then if you times that by 20, you would get just under a million dollars. All right, so if you wanted to have a, a monthly income of $4,000 a month coming into your bank account, right? From your portfolio that you saved up over a couple years or maybe a decade, depending on how long, how much, you know, it all varies, the market, everything. But let's just say you had a million dollars in your bank account. You saved up a million, however you got it, selling real estate, whatever. You got a million dollars and you take that at a 5% annual return. So a million dollars times 0 0.05, you get $50,000 a year coming in. Divide that by 12 and you're gonna get $4,100, which means you've created financial freedom. You can do that. So that's the first way. There's so many different ways to create passive income and create financial freedom for yourself. The next one is create a business. 
a business that you enjoy, that you can add massive value to, that you could go all in on. Keep your expenses low. Now, I'm a big fan of online businesses. Some people like hard locations. I don't, I'm, I just like the freedom lifestyle, the laptop lifestyle. This is my business. This is my phone. It, I get to go anywhere with my phone. I can create income from my phone. I love making money from my phone, my laptop, right? I can make it, I can bring my camera. I don't even need it. I can film my videos with my iPhone for YouTube, right? So create a business that you enjoy, that you wanna be a master and add massive value to the marketplace so that you can start to create cash flow. You can be able to put money into that portfolio to help you quickly get the financial freedom. The next way I love is real estate. Now, right now the real estate market is hot, but looking at wedge deals where you can find equity already built in the house, where someone is in a distressed situation, you can go in, buy it from them, everyone gets a win, maybe fix it up a little bit, get it reappraised, and all of a sudden the house is worth way more. You might have 50, 100, $150,000 in equity. You could turn around, sell the property and get that back. You will probably have to pay capital gain taxes on it, or you can rent it out, you can refinance, pull the money out tax free, tax free, and then rent it out to a homeowner. And, or you could get a property at a lower value, put a little bit of money into it, and then have a cash flow of, let's just say 500 to $1,000 a month. Imagine if you found like a duplex where you were able to cash flow $1,000 a month. If your bills are 4,000, how many duplexes do you need? You only need four duplexes that cash flow $1,000 a month for you to become financially free. Again, this financial freedom is just a baseline that we're talking about. We're not talking about the surplus and the abundance. We're saying, how do we get your time back? How do we get you out of your business? How do we get you out of your nine to five so that your bills are paid and you could take 40 hours a week, 160 hours or more a month to go back and build your business or your portfolio or whatever you're doing to become financial free and put more time into that to be able to expand it and to grow it even more. And then <clears throat> one of my favorites is this is how I started my coaching journey and I got a lot of friends in it that's successful is network marketing. Network marketing, while it's not easy, it can be fun. You create lifelong friendships, but you gotta get into personal development, work on you, work on your communication skills. But it's great because you can start to build out an organization and help other people be able to make money. And the more people you help, the more money you make. So your income is directly based on how many people you help. And look, I hear, I heard it for years. It's a pyramid scam. And look, you could say what you want. I, I'm not in it, so please hear me. I am not in network marketing. I am not pitching network marketing at a specific company, but it is a great industry because think about this. In a corporate structure, the guy at the top, the CEO, can the janitor ever make more money than the CEO? More than likely not. Who usually works more? The guy, the janitor, the guy, the lower uh, entry people or the CEO? Usually the lower entry people. And so you're telling me that there's a group of people at the bottom <clears throat> that can never make more than the CEO, but yet they do more work than the CEO? Sounds like a scam to me. However, this is what I will say. Network marketing is great because the more people you help, the more money you make on a monthly basis that reoccurs. Now, do you have to help people? Do you have to guide people? I got tired of babysitting people because that, that, that comes with it. Any business that you have, you're going to have about 20% of the time, it's gonna suck. I always say the 80-20 rule. 80% of the time it's great, 20% sucks. Network marketing, the 20% suck factor for me was babysitting people, chasing people. I didn't like doing it. And so anyway, I love serving people and that's why I went more of the coaching route, the professional coaching route, and here we are today. But network marketing is a great way. I have a buddy of mine who got me in to network marketing many years ago. I think it was in 2008 I started in Amway and he went on, he was doing great there and then he went on to build another company and then now he helped launch this new company and he's making six figures a month just from that network marketing company. He's helped a lot of people create six and seven figures on an annual basis because of growing as an individual, his skill set, and just having the passion to help people and building it right. That's a big key. So. Look, <clears throat> I wanted to give you a couple examples. There's people online that are doing, you know, got affiliate marketing, where affiliate marketing is you're promoting someone else's product and you get a commission on it. 
And that's part of internet marketing where you can build you know, a funnel and have a certain product or a course that you sell that can come in and create passive income each month. That is a lot of work. It is a lot to learn. But I just wanted to give you about a handful of strategies that you could start to look into deeper that could allow you to create financial freedom because I'll tell you, if you have a low monthly budget, and you cut out your expenses that are unnecessary, you could within a year, two years, three years, you could potentially create financial freedom for yourself. And so I just, I don't wanna say that it's easy, but it can be easy. If you love what you do, if you become a master in it, if you're disciplined, if you're having fun, if you appreciate where you are and you have gratitude for where you are, then all of a sudden the abundance starts to flow and the resistance doesn't show up. And all of a sudden you're at a massive value to the marketplace, solving problems and your financial freedom comes. Now, I will say this, you know, can I guarantee any of this? No, I'm just some dude on YouTube just giving you some wisdom that I found, you know, creating financial freedom for myself and my family, creating, helping other people do it. And so now, do I still coach? Do I still work? Do I still build a business? You bet. So just because you hit financial freedom doesn't mean you're going to go sit back on the beach or, you know, watch TV all day. No. In fact, what I found is I like to work more, right? If we really cut our bills back, like really cut our bills back just to the necessities, we can create, we have financial freedom in our life. However, I don't wanna settle for that. I'm about abundance and add a massive value because I was just on Instagram the other day, yesterday actually, and I saw a post by Russell Brunson and he says, I don't do it for the money, I do it for the time for my family. And it just hit me, it just landed. And look, you're creating a financial freedom to create more time, more options. That's why these handful of opportunities that I just shared with you, they're just vehicles. Find a vehicle so you can create more time, not create money. I created this video because I want you to think, yeah, you got to have the money, the financial freedom to have the time. But this is all about the time that you get to spend with your loved ones. But I find I like to work more and I get to bring my family into it. So we all have, we have our own coaching gigs, right? We have, I'm helping build out coaching departments. My wife's helping another company. I'm helping a couple of companies. Like I have my own stuff going on and I love everything we have our hands in. But I don't want to just live off of our bare necessities. I wanna be able to bless, I feed my portfolio every month, I'm working on building my real estate portfolio to the next level, I'm taking our businesses to the next level. So I, in fact, I do a lot of what I'm teaching today, otherwise I wouldn't share it, and I coach a lot of this, but I want you to know that you can, you can absolutely have this, you just gotta get clarity first and find out what do you enjoy. And so if you find that it's difficult to figure that stuff out, go into the description below, one-on-one -on -one coaching application. Let's talk about getting you a coach, myself, my wife, or one of our amazing coaches here at Master Life by Design to help you get clarity, breakthrough, and start creating that financial abundance in your life. And not having that resistance, but cr attracting more abundance into your life. But before we wrap up, I wanna give you the secret. The one secret that I truly believe, maybe you won't believe this, and that's okay, but, <clears throat> I really believe this is what allows the abundance in my life and my family and so many others that I have friends with, and that is the secret sauce. And the secret sauce is tithing slash giving. Now, you might say, Joe, I don't believe in you know God or any of that stuff, and that's okay. I believe in God, I believe in tithing, and I really, when my life changed was when I started tithing. I remember I was living with my buddy, a couple people, like six people in this house, I was, you know, I was just coming out of $40,000 debt and barely making $2,000 a month living in San Diego, going through school and in network marketing. And I remember having a conversation with my buddy on a Friday night. I said, you know what, let's commit to tithing. Let's commit to giving 10% of our income no matter what, no matter what. <clears throat> and that next day we made the commitment and that next day, because I feel like God knew my heart, the next day, I went for a run with my buddy, and right before we started for a run, I got a text message that said, "Bank, check your bank account from a loved one. And there was $3,000 in there that I lent them years ago. Never spoke of it since. I just figured I'd give it, whatever, you know, and boom. When I made that commitment to tithe, 
life started changing and I do it whether money's tight or not. The first thing I do is I tithe 10% of my income. Then I pay myself and my portfolio the percentage that I was talking about earlier. Now you guys might not call it tithing, but here's what I will say. Give, go give to someone. Go give to an organization. Go give to your favorite charity. Start with 1%, start with 2%, but work your way up to 10% or more. And I'm telling you, watch how good you feel. Whenever I sign, this is a secret. Whenever I sign something, and like a, a check or a, a bill or pay a bill, I close my eyes and I imagine that money going out, serving so many people and it's multiplying out until it comes back to me. So if I spend $47 eating out, well, oh, I'm gonna spend more than that today on my wife's birthday. Um, but if I spend 47, I picture $47,000 coming, $470,000 coming back to me, $4.7 million coming back to me. And I feel that emotion and then I sign, right? I want to cultivate that energy, but it's about the spiritual law of giving. And if you don't believe in spiritual laws, that's okay. There's laws out there. And if you don't believe in them, well, if you don't believe in the law of gravity, go jump off your second story roof and see if you believe in the law of gravity. It's just because you don't believe in something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But I will tell you, when you bless others, whether you call tithing or giving, all of a sudden watch the abundance that comes into your life. It may not happen right away. It may need to be a little bit of time, right? And we talk about lag time where just because you make a decision doesn't mean that it's just gonna, boom, everything just shows up and you're highly blessed, right? If you want that, go ahead and check out um, the video that I did about the law of attraction and how to manifest the life that you want. And so anyway, with that being said, I highly encourage you to start giving. Maybe it's just you, you give 1% and you find someone every week to just, you pay for their groceries. Or maybe you buy them a cup of coffee. Or maybe you, one of the things I like to do is if we go to like Chick-fil-A or something like that, I say, here's, you know, 30 bucks, pay for the meal behind me, right? Like whatever that is for you, find a way to tithe or give. And I will tell you over time, I really believe that's what separates the old me when I didn't tithe and I struggled financially to the new me who committed to tithing and since then has been blessed with above and beyond. And so I highly believe in tithing slash giving to people. And when you do that, watch your world change. So look, you can create financial freedom. You just gotta be disciplined. You gotta have fun along the way. It's not that hard. If you have a family, it may take a little bit longer. If you don't have a vehicle that can produce as quickly as another financial vehicle, you may wanna look at switching or finding out how do you become a master in it and get yourself out into the marketplace. But it can be fun, it can be easy, especially if you're single. Go find a coach, go find a mentor, someone to help you be able to create that quickly in your life. But first, you got to get clear. You got to decide what's that going to be. So with that, if you found value in this video today, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think, Joe, you're just nuts? No, that's not how you do it. Or that doesn't make sense. It's not easy. Whatever. I want to hear your, your likes, your grunts, whatever it is. And then make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're doing three videos a week. I add a massive value to you. And if look, if you feel like, hey, I need support. I can't do this on my own. I've been trying it. I've just been year after year. I've been failing. Fill out that one-on-one -on -one application for coaching in the description below let's talk about how we can support you with a coach that locks arms with you and helps you create the freedom the lifestyle you want because at master life by design we're about creating the lifestyle you want what do you want in your life let's go close the gap on where you are to where you want to be and let's do that because there's certain things that stop you and you're not even aware of so with that my name is joe moffin master life by design have a great one see ya